was Kathleen was in Montreal, somebody was in Switzerland, somebody was in Puerto Rico, in Miami. But, but Kathleen came, so this is our chance to give her a trophy. And this must be caught on camera so that it will be shown in our network, okay? So this is the time for me to give the trophy <laughs> to Kathleen. So we have an audience. <laughs> uh, let me get over here. I can get a better angle. Is this is that? Yes. There are two pieces of. Yes. Oh. Pardon me. Let me read it. Woman of the Year Award presented to Kathleen Felix in appreciation for extraordinary service and dedication as a leader and sent by Tele Solidarity TV New York. Tele Solidarity is the organ. The organ. Yeah. organ or is it the organ that we should say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, very good, thank you. Okay, you. and this is being recorded too. Okay. <laughs> I got you. But this yeah, is better, way. this is better. Yeah. <laughs> you see the woman on the top? <laughs> the woman on the top. Yes. It was the occasion of the months of March, which is the okay. months of women. So the next time we will have a sister with our grand. Thank you. Merci. Well, she's been tremendously active, and she has. A, she worked on Wall Street for a number of years. For ten, eh? years. ten years. Ten years. Ten years. I was in corporate finance. Five years on Wall Street, uh -huh. and then I met the Concourse people, the microfinance institution in Haiti, and I realized there was the grassroots movement was doing so much in Haiti. So I decided to give my time to it, and I, I just dropped everything and I started working with them. That's, that's the story. I love this story. She's a, <laughs> she's a very qualified woman but who has given up her career to really serve the poor in mm -hmm. Haiti. So we appreciate her. Okay, God. Thank you. Right. Must I add now, her biggest issue as Woman of the Year is to take on the Dominican Republic issue where yeah. our Haitian brothers and sisters are suffering. Okay, human rights issues. So. That's her big um, issue that she's gonna take on as woman of the year. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's not it's not about it's not necessarily if you look at it as an Asian issue, it's not true. It's a human rights issue, and we need to protect the migrants. They've been uh, we've been taking their rights. They're losing their nationality. Some of them have been asked expulsed from the DR because they're Asian descent. They're not never put step in Haiti. They don't know Creole. They don't know anyone, and they ask them to go back. There's people who they destroy their houses. We had a case of a uh, public case, someone that's been hanged. Hung, hung, yeah, hung, yeah, hung, um, and you know, in public yeah, space. Like, yeah, and, the, and, uh, the, the hung body was exposed in the public uh, space. And the Ku Klux Klan manifest two times at the uh, during the carnival in two time in two years in a row with no, no intervention from the police. So that means that it's it, it's a small group. Not all Dominicans are, are racist. That's yeah. not true. Yeah. We have a lot of brothers and sisters in Dominican, in, in Republic Dominican, who are fighting with us, saying this doesn't make sense. But this small group, like anywhere else, where you had apartheid, when you had a, a persecution of against Jews, that's the same thing. It's always those small group that we yes, need to yeah. stop. Yeah. So that's that's my. Um, yes. I'm taking the voice of the women of the year. Yeah. To, to bring this on the table, and we need we need to say something because yes. if we don't, we're complex. Yes, we know the whole story is that in 1915 the American conquered Haiti and the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and they developed the sugar industry mm -hmm. in the Dominican yep. Republic, but with Haitian workers. Mm -hmm. The Haitians were shipped to the Dominican Republic to serve to cut cane, okay, and they were kept in bates and they were treated like cattle. Okay. But the Haitian labor force is the, uh, is, a, uh, is the kind of background of Dominican prosperity. Okay. 
but uh, these Haitians were sent were peasants, you know, they were the illiterate peasants. But the kind of the Dominican Republic despised the Haitians because they thought they were all uh, illiterate people. And uh, more recently, uh, the Dominican Republic has really made a lot of money on Haiti because of, you know, what killed Haiti is a dictatorship of Duvalier. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's lasted for 30 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really what killed Haiti. Because before Duvalier, Haiti was at the same level and a little better than the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. But Trujillo, in 1937, massacred 28,000 Haitians on, wow. on the river uh, between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. But this, in a way, is so terrible. But the trouble is that now, because after the Allier, Haiti's economy has become so depressed that too many Haitians go to the Dominican Republic. But you have those who come recently and those who were born in the Dominican Republic. And it's estimated that there are about 250,000 who were born in the Dominican mm -hmm. Republic who are Dominicans. Mm -hmm. But who had no right, they couldn't go to, to universities because, okay, but they were born in the Dominican Republic. Now there was, a, in 1913, the court of the Dominican Republic declared that all children born from illegal entrance had no right to citizenship and they had to be uh, deported. Retroactive to 1929? Uh, yes, from all born since 1929. Mm -hmm. Therefore, people who are 80 years old mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, could have suddenly discovered that they had no mm -hmm. citizenship, mm -hmm. no, no mm -hmm. right to passport or anything. The fault of Haiti is not that they do not keep their borderline and they allow Haitians to go in large numbers, but there is a lot of trade. Actually, yeah. and it benefits, it benefits. the Dominican Republic, Haiti is the first client of the Dominican Republic because we purchase everything from the Dominican Republic. Uh, construction things, the food. The food, bananas, because of the neglect of the Haitian land uh, the Dominican Republic produces more than Haiti and then sell eggs, chickens, a lot of wow. chickens, eggs, even bananas and even lemons and things of the sort. And mm -hmm. um, so, so, so I think it was estimated that there were three or two billion dollars business between the two yeah, countries it's, it's benefiting business, yeah. the Dominican Republic. But we also have 28,000 students from Haiti who studies in the universities in the Dominican Republic. And they are shaking in their boots now. Yeah. Okay. But a final decision has not been taken. Well, yeah. You know, the problem is that the cardinal, Catholic cardinal of, of Santo Domingo, backed up publicly. Yeah. Okay. This is why I wrote to Rome about him. We're gonna write and I again. wrote to him. <laughs> <laughs> and write again. He did not sign the, the, the decree, but he gave his approval of the decree. Mm. Beyond that, also, it's felt that Haitians tend, tend to be black in the Dominican Republic because of history. There been much more mix, mixing. The, the, while Haiti in history was in agriculture, the Dominican Republic was in cattle raising. In cattle raising, the labor is not as intense. And there were lesser slaves, and the slave had a lot of children from their masters. So uh, the, the Dominican Republic is much more lighter skinned than the Haitians. And it is felt that there is apartheid also because of color. Okay. So it's a very complicated history. Okay? <laughs> yes, it is. But the, but the human right needs to be addressed. Yes, I think a lot of countries have protested. This is why, in a way, a few months ago, they offered something that said that Haitian could sign. Yeah, they, they create two classes of citizens and they have to renounce the they still have to renounce their citizenship and they'll give them a, another 
type of paper mm -hmm. so, so they can stay in the land. But only 6,000 or 8,000 of, of them already applied, applied for, and uh, the, that's it. So by, uh, I think by July, this, there's a, a risk of expulsion for 250,000 people. Another problem. Okay. Because I don't know how it's going to be. Cannot handle that. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, wow. So it's it's a, it's a problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got that on tape. That was very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you got it on tape. Yes. It's on tape. You need your authorization. You work for the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Uh, it's focused in action. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's the FI. Yeah. <laughs> FII. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. It was. Thank, thank you. you. Right. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.